welcome to my channel this is sam i'm playing hellblade sin was sacrifice so we just defeated another god and we are here to search symbols found one journey to Helheim is never a straight one. Each must find their own path. Align yourself to its secrets, and you will find yours. However you come to the gold-covered bridge that leads to hell, you may find it guarded by a giantess. She will ask your name. She will ask your lineage. She will ask your business. The Northmen tell of the warrior woman Brynhild, who leapt into fire and rode to hell to join her slain love Sigurd.
that message. Let's see what this message is. Hela possesses large dwelling places in Helheim. Tall are her walls, high are her gates. The name of her dish is hunger. Her knife is famine. On her threshold all will stumble. Her bed is called sick bed, and her bed hangings are called flames of a funeral pyre. They say she is easy to recognize, half black and half the color of flesh, and her face menacing and grim. I am from the first Elias and the last. We get to the soul of this person I'm searching. Dreams are visions of our memories, thoughts, and fears, as seen by our inner eye. But what if each one of us is always dreaming, even when awake, and we only see what our inner eye creates for us? Is this what hell is? A world shaped by Senua's nightmares? Maybe that's why people feared seeing the world through our eyes. Because if you believe that Senua's reality is twisted, you must accept that yours might be too. You failed the gods. You're pathetic. Rotten. Cursed. What were you thinking? Did you really think you could win? How stupid can you be? Everyone hates her. She's a curse. Look at you. A warrior. Worthless. Weak. Pathetic. Go on. Feel sorry for yourself. Because there's no one left to do that for you. Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. 
Drugs and love. Just like your soul. Come on. So my soul broke. I don't know what to do now. Why well, go on? When you give everything and face that which torments you. Only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined. Why well, go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling. Someone is coming. A song. But I don't have a sword. My friend told me that uh, if you die too much, the black thing will get into the head oh and you will die permanently and you have to start all over again. <sighs> this thing has exceeded my elbow.
ना तो मोबाइल ना तो डाउन तो अंदर Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father, Zinbel, made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs. Errands out in the Ogney Plains. So wild. Like this one. Look out for those memory stones. Uh, and like he tells a story about his old happy area. They can be in there. So explore the map. Everything is there for a reason. Sinua, there will be times that you will feel alone and exhausted, like a strange little fish swimming against the tides of the big ocean. But have the faith to let go and let the tide carry you away. Because the whole ocean is your home, it does not ask you to swim against it.
Northmen tell of a great hero. His name is Sigurd. His father's hall was built around a great tree, and one day, Odin comes and thrusts a sword into the tree, a gift to whomever can release it. Many try, but the sword only comes out at Sigmund's touch. His brother, King Sigir, wants it, but Sigmund refuses him. So King Sigir plots revenge. He invites Sigmund and his brothers to a feast, but when they arrive, they are met with an army, not a warm welcome. King Sigir captures Sigmund and his brothers, steals his coveted sword, and readies them for execution. She begs for mercy and implores the king to chain them up instead. He agrees. Not for mercy, though, but because he plans an even more cruel and lingering death. Chained to a tree in the forest that night, a she wolf comes and devours one of Sigmund's brothers. She returns, ravenous, night after night, until only Sigmund is left. The next day, Sigmund's sister sends a servant with honey to smear on Sigmund's face. But to what end? Well, that night, when the she-wolf appears again, you'll never guess what happens. Me 
be there is a way. Let's go back. What if I touch this? Holds on, the chains break, and he is free. After his escape, Sigmund lives like us, hidden in the forest. His enemy, King Sigir, believing him dead, as his sister plots revenge. And for vengeance to succeed, even the great Sigmund needs him. So she sends her sons to him. But their blood is weak and corrupted, and they're put to death by Sigmund. So his sister hatches a new plan, one that is cold of heart and pure of blood. Me? 
You should become a warrior, you know. Me? I'm Dillian. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment. When you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you, make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. But her world changed the day the Norsemen took him from her. Anyone knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide and don't tell around. Their gods can see into your mind. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here! You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No! And all your suffering will have been for nothing! Stop! Sigmund's sister trades ships with a sorceress, and in disguise, she lies with her own brother. She gives birth to a son named Sinfjotli. After a time, she sends him to the forest to Sigmund. He tests the boy, and finds him strong and fearless, and so they go to take their vengeance on King Sigir. But luck is not on their side. They're captured and Sigir has them buried alive. That's unfortunate for me. Well. As Sigmund and Sinfjotli are being buried alive, Sigmund's sister throws an armful of straw into the grave mound. Hidden in the straw is Sigmund's sword, the gift of Odin. They cut their way out of the grave mound and set fire to Sigir's hall. The king burns to death. Sigmund calls to his sister to come out so that she may live and be honored. She does come out, but only to tell him the truth. But she had slept with him, her brother, to beget a strong avenger. I am not fit to live, she says, and walks back into the fire. Strike vengeance from your heart, Senua, as there is always a heavy price to pay. Okay, the message was personal. <laughs> Definitely personal. I guess that's the last message or yeah. 
I will go in, but I need to check. That's a bleed. Take that Take sword. A sword. Take it. Delia left it for you. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> to make a sword that would never fail and never rust and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn and it would be the death of the king. Let me tell you about the sword Tyrving. story that the Northmen tell about a young woman warrior. Her name is Hermann, the daughter of a berserker born after he was killed. She's a wild, willful child who teaches herself to fight with weapons. When she learns where her father is buried, her only desire is to reclaim the treasure buried with him, but above all, the sword, Tyrving. Check 
check out the surroundings. I cannot go over this. Can't do it. Okay, let's go in there. disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Down the Northman to hell. What is that? I came here before. Find another way. It's not working. You have to. Mind, where can you go? You're failing. Find a thing.
I have come to this place before. It's like part of the track or something. Within the burial mine, Herver calls on her father to wake from death and bring her his sword. She says that it is not seemly for the dead in their grave mines to bear valuable weapons. Her father answers with words of warning. You go to your doom. Baleful runes surround you. You have gone mad. You have lost your mind. Your thoughts are confused. It is dangerous to wake the dead. Like I said, she reminds me of you. <laughs> now I... There are a couple of swords here. Can't I take the sword? like a sword designed I can't find anything else regarding this there's a memory here Herver disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors and soon becomes their leader when they come to the island where her father is buried her men do not want to go ashore they say that evil haunts the island and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night fearless she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through these ghostly fires as though they were mist. The flames I passed through were real enough. Damn the Northmen to hell. Am I lost? 
the game. Oh, this is the initial one. So I went uh, right from the first row. Let's go left from the other. Finally, I went backtracking. And Hervor ignores her father's warnings. The grave mound opens, and it seems to be full of fire. Again, Hervor demands her inheritance, but her father warns her that the sword is cursed and would be the bane of her family. But he relents and brings her the sword. She leaves the island with it, but the curse holds true, and death would follow in the years to come. And so, Senua, the misdeeds of a father have cursed his daughter. Completed the trial, I don't think so. What is going to happen? I'm, uh, am I gonna get a uh, like shard of the blade? I didn't get it. So it must be like. Still impossible for me. I have 100 Mbps line and still MB being small b. But still, I'm struggling. To at least uh, stream Fortnite in 720p, I'm having packet loss and everything. 20, 29 percent packet loss I'm having. So. offline videos sorry yeah. oh, videos that were recorded you're lost forever what are you gonna do when the torch runs out until it gets dark and then nothing you can do What is wrong with this thing? Can't get it right. No matter how many times I go, I go to the same place. disguises herself as a man to join a band of warriors. 
and soon becomes their leader. When they come to the island where her father is buried, her men do not want to go ashore. They say that evil haunts the island, and that it is a worse place by day than other places are by night. Fearless, she lands alone. There are many grave mounds, and all of them have ghostly flames burning over them. She comes to the grave mound of her father after passing through.
so we are fighting darkness it's speaking through no dad it's me i think i can beat it in my own way i can see the darkness in your eyes child i met a boy boy the chief said so. no he said he could help me it's a trick he said i could be normal normal yes no boy is going to save you. No one can. When they see the rot growing no. inside you, no. they will turn their back on you. The gods can only fix you through my hand. You're going nowhere. No. You will not defy the man! Come, child, take my hand. Come. Send my hand. I am leaving! You cannot escape the darkness. Your curse will make everyone suffer. You will have blood on your hands! Start from the second trial in the next video. Bye yes, guys, have a good day. See you soon. Thank you. Yes.